Shalom, Shalom, brother. This is Ho Shore. This is Hello, y'all. Shalom, Shalom, brothers. Uh, you know, brothers, uh, this is, uh, as we titled it, Yisrael today. Primarily, uh, what is going off into is uh, our travels to our nation. And basically just trying to expose brothers to what's going on today in Israel. You know, Benjamin in Israel, he's making certain stands. He's making certain statements. A lot of statements that questionable. A lot of the things that were done, those are the issues that we want to try to find out about. Many statements were made in the papers, the press, about what was happening with the brothers. Many statements were made from brothers that came back from Israel. We need with these statements. nothing but the truth. We're trying to do that. We're going from connect to connect on this specific issue right now. What's going on in Israel? What's happening there? Our people are in captivity. What's going on here? What's happening here? Our people are in captivity. We are in captivity to ignorance. Ignorance of each other. We're in the captivity to a lack of knowledge of what's going on within our very community. Here, right here. This tape, this film, is to expose brothers with what's happening. So brothers come and enjoy, and join in, and be with us in the rest, to repeat the rest of this film. And sit back, relax, and become exposed to Israel. In Israel, this is the date is 5:26:86, and we're talking about basically the topic today is what's going on in Israel. Our people are under punishment; they're under brutality; they're they're receiving bad uh, conditions in, in reference to being imprisoned by the Israeli army and the uh, various different other forces that have surrounded. Our brother's camp. This is Prince Elkanah speaking upon this issue. Uh, uh, Shalom Uraka. Uh, would like to just say to you, to the brethren, uh, that we are in Israel. The brothers and sisters, you know, there were 46 people arrested and put in prison. And then uh, after that, uh, five have been released. And the other 41 are in the process of maybe being released due to the help. We'll reach out for the Hebrew community first. I called, when the thing first started, I called Kohen Levy Ben Levy, I called um, uh, uh, Rabbi Hodges, I called uh, Simone, Brother Simone, and uh, put the word out through uh, Brother David to let uh, different camps know that, hey, we need your support and we need your help. Well, the answer that came back through the grapevine was we getting what we deserve, uh, and that, uh, uh, well, that's our problem, and it wasn't time to leave. Uh, Rabbi Rubin told me uh, it wasn't time to leave, personally so. Uh, but since then, I heard that he was in the hospital. Uh, Kohen uh, Levi on the west side, he gave me more support and told me that he would do whatever he can, and he's always been there. Uh, but I just want to say to the brethren that if this is the kind of help that Israel gets, uh, it reminds me of Yeshua when uh, the Samaritan uh, helped the brother who was strung out on the road and didn't have anything to eat, and he took him to the inn and fed him and uh, gave him a place to stay and put a few uh, pennies in his pocket and told him he would come back and check on him. But his own brother of his own tribe said, bless you, and went his own way, and he didn't give him the help that he needed. And so when I reached out for Israel, uh, I received uh, quite a few negative responses or some chuckles that we were getting what we did. Names of the, the 46 brothers and sisters who were incarcerated, one of them being my own son, who is 18 years old, who was born in Liberia and has never seen America. But this, uh, these are the type of things that I'm showing you documented proof of what's happening to us. And if it's 46 black people, uh, maybe you might not agree with what we did. 
but there's 46 black people whose lives are on the line. And if the concern that I get from you is the what it is that we can do to let you know that we're for you. Well, a few people did, but as a group as a whole, no Hebrews have come down to check on us as a group, the elders and what have you. They haven't come down. We're prepared to talk to anybody about anything that we have especially in Israel. And we, 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 are, we are reaching out uh, to the point of the whole Hebrew organization. Now, I think it would be a very good idea and we, we could that's what, you know, we'll talk about it at the same time if well, you could be the uh, runner you, know, you have already did to make them I'm assuming because you've got all the groups except at least you know groups that I don't know Exactly. So what we are saying is that if you, if uh, we find that these groups uh, really sound like okay, we've got two more, three more, four more, uh, that would be fine. And then we would, our board would uh, take into consideration and we let them know, you know, let you did all that work, you've done that work, and we come together on that. Then we could have Brother uh, Evanard to come. Because, see, uh, we know the story. See. And it's in the very day that it happened, I knew it before he did. Well, about the same time, I guess, because when they arrested him, and then we knew about it that Saturday and that Sunday morning, he did call my house as for support. And I have called the Jewish, uh, the Israeli consulate, not on the call, we went down. And I didn't get back to him on it, but we have, we have. Explain to him. Now, Slow Mo Ben Yisrael of the International Board of Rabbis, Midwest Regency. Rabbi Slow Mo Young, we are here today basically speaking about the appeal in which El Canaan gave in reference to a wanting to communicate, wanting to come to the negotiating table to speak with the brothers on the issues and on some type of dialogue on how we as a group or a nation can come together. What is the response of the International Board of Rabbis? The International Board of Rabbis is prepared to meet on any issue, provided it's uh, considered of the Torah or the Bible, sit down and talk for the benefit of Israel. We all are one Hebrew blood here. We want to work out something together accordingly. Whether we agree or we are not, we are uh, open, open, and ready to sit down and talk with anyone. So, uh, basically, that's uh, the regional board of rabbis we were speaking with, and this was Yisrael today. Shalom, shalom, rabbi. Shalom. This is. Israel today, and we say my home base. Okay. Shalom. Shalom, Rabbi. Shalom, it off. Meet again. Okay, Rabbi. What you what you say from the from the information that we got that the that the being the spokesman for the Chicago Land Midwest Regency that this is the future. This will bring more unification conflict in the future. Sure, should be, should be. Gotta okay. Unification. First time we had a good get together meeting right there. And what do you feel about uh, El Kanan's indicating indication that he is humbling himself bef uh, before all the elders in Chicago at this time? What do you feel about that uh, statement or that expression of him humbling himself? Well, I believe that's a good. That's a good expression. I enjoyed it. And, yeah, I got a, good, a, lot, of, a lot of good uh, aspects out of it. Okay, and so I agree with him. That that's what he did. Uh, I love it. I okay. Think the other Hebrews get that same feeling. Okay. So this is just the other day we're speaking to Rabbi. Well, W.O. Young, the original record, Midwest Wizard of the Light Board of Rabbis. Okay. Thank you, Rabbi Young. All right. And have a nice evening. Shalom. Shalom, shalom.